day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. As you can see, I just did a really quick refresh of our fireplace mantle. It's kind of strange doing a fireplace mantle after Eric and I just got back from sunny, hot Florida. I don't know if Florida has gotten the memo, but hey guys, it's fall. I wanna thank everyone who tuned in to that video for checking that video out. That was actually Eric and I's first trip without Chase. That was our first empty nest trip. All right, thank you so much again for everyone who tuned in to that video. If you saw it, then you know that Eric and I said that we were kind of floating. It felt kind of weird without Chase being there. And then to boot, Chase gets sick while we are gone. Yeah, so thank you also for everyone who sent their prayers in. They are greatly appreciated. But today's video, guys, is going to be a video that has been kind of long in the making. I have been asking you guys, I wanna say the last, skip the last video, but the two videos prior to that, candles. We've been talking about candles here on the channel. I think Eric kind of jumped in on the conversation and we were wanting to know what was too much. How much was too much to spend on a candle? Gosh, so many of you hopped into the comments, click clacking, ticking away, typing away, and you guys said that you were spending upwards of four and five hundred dollars on candles. Judy Snail, four hundred dollars on the uh, Joe Malone candles at Nordstrom. So many of you said that you were purchasing the Louis Vuitton candles. My mind is blown. I cannot. Uh, but I want to thank Shayna and so many others of you who said, Tan, there are some really reasonably priced candles. Shayna said, I believe it was Kroger. She said, check out Kroger. Many of you said Target. Many of you said Walmart, Aldi, and of course, my favorite home goods. And then I have a I have a couple of other candles from places that, I don't know, I never thought to pick up candles from. All right, guys, so to kick off this candle haul, this is, did I tell you what this video was gonna be about? This is a haul video of nothing but candles, nothing but fall candles. I believe they're all fall candles. And it is so apropos that as I sit here by my window that leads out to my upper deck that the acorns from this I believe it's a beech nut tree here in my backyard is raining acorns and they are so loud so if you hear something falling sounding like it's breaking no worries guys it's just the acorns falling out of the tree and if you've ever gotten hit on the head by an acorn you you understand what I'm talking about. You don't wanna be out in my backyard right now. It is literally raining acorn. These squirrels in my backyard have got to be super happy and very well prepared for winter. But anyway, we're gonna go ahead and get started with this huge candle haul. I don't think I've ever purchased this many candles at one time in my life, but there's a first time for everything. So we're gonna start with home goods, all right? Home goods up until late has been always my spot to go to to pick up candles. Home goods, gosh, they just have a large variety of candles. They don't have a huge number of candles, but in terms of scents, I don't believe that you can go wrong with home goods. And for me, the price, it's just amazing. So right now, one of my favorite scents to burn here in the house is Pumpkin and Oud, and it is brought by the brand Scentational, scent, S-C-E-N-T, tational, scentational. And guys, this candle, I love the jar, I love the lid, $7.99. Again, those of you who are spending the $400 and $500 on the candles, you guys have really have to try to explain to me, use your words, type down in the comments, let me know. $7.99 versus four and 500. Are you really getting that big of a difference? I don't know. I'm gonna tell you, there are not gonna be any Joe Malone candles in this haul. I just can't bring myself to do it. I just cannot. I can get a nice luxury belt, maybe maybe even, even a luxury pair of shoes with that four and $500. But hey, we are all individual. You know, we have our own individual tastes and we spend our money where we see fit. So if you're spending the money, uh, spending four and $500 on the candles, do you, no judgment here. 
But I am really, really loving pumpkin, pumpkin and oud. If you, I know you have a home goods in your area, go ahead, tip in, do yourself a favor and check out this scent for $7.99. And for me, uh, this is one of the signature scents of fall. Pumpkin and oud, and I don't know what oud it is. Oud it is, it must be some type of spice. This one is also a scent that I am loving. This is apple cinnamon, also very iconic for the fall. Very, very iconic, and I love that this one, this one I'm actually keeping over in my guest bathroom that it says, give thanks here. You know, oftentimes we can go through the day and forget how blessed we are. So it's really cute that this is also by Sensational. Sensational. Um, it's, also, it's really cute that they're giving us little reminders on the jars. And for those of you who are, once again, I'm not gonna continue to beat you guys up, but for those of you who are spending the four and $500 on the candles. Are you guys getting little mementos, little messages, little little daily quotes on your candle jars? Let me know. I am having to get up and down and grab these candles, guys. There are so many freaking candles. So as I stated at the top of this portion of the video, so many of you suggested that I head over and check out the candles at Aldi and I have to say that the candle selection at the Aldi that I purchased this particular candle from in Florida was all but depleted. They did not have a whole lot. So I was really fortunate to pick this one up. So the brand is Timber Wick. There is actually a wooden wick on the candle. Love that, super cute. And the scent is Fireside and Fig. It's not as overpowering, it's not as bold as the pumpkin and oud in terms of fall, but you do get fall vibes from this particular scent. It's just very subtle. So Fireside and Fig, I love it. I love the decor, I love the size, I love the, the shape of the container. This one I may actually store here around the house. Um, I have a few candles stored out, meaning they are on display. Not a whole lot though. Um, I typically hide my candles away in things. The candle that I have over in the kitchen is actually in an ice bucket. So very discreet with my candles. I don't know though, but if I spent four and five hundred dollars on a candle, I probably kind of like hang it from the ceiling. But this is a really nice candle. I love the color on it and it was $5.99. None of the candles that I'll share today will be over $20. So loving, loving this scent. Fireside, let me see if I can be very descriptive. Let me see if I can be a little bit more descriptive. I know when you guys do your perfume videos, you're very descriptive with your words. So let me see. Pumpkin and oud is just giving really bold pumpkin and pumpkin spice scent. The cinnamon and pumpkin, again, really, really bold, very familiar fall scents. But the fireside and fig, I would say I'm sitting out on my gazebo on one of the cooler nights, maybe 65, 68 degree temps, and the fireplace is going. <laughs> so that's what this one's giving. All right, so the next one, two, three, four, five candles are all going to be from Walmart, all right? So I don't know who copied who. I don't know if Aldi copied Walmart or if Walmart copied Aldi, but these containers, guys, these containers are very, very similar. This is Aldi and this is Walmart. So I don't know who's for, who's first. But so this is a wood wick candle also. Here again, loving this lid. This one actually crackles. All right, so the wick on this, it says, Wood wick with plus wick innovation. This patented wick design delivers soothing crackle, all right, fast fragrance, and it gives a better burn. All right, that's interesting. That is interesting. I cannot wait to burn these guys. So the scent is Hot Toddy. Hot Toddy is synonymous with fall, guys. This is like an old school drink. I think it has like, apple cider and some type of liqueur in it. You guys, if you're familiar, will have to drop down and let me know. So a really pretty candle, loving the color. All right, this is one, again, that I would not have an issue with displaying here in the house. And I am very, very 
curious to see if it really does give off that crackle. All right, so up next is a candle from the same brand, Woodwick, and this is lavender and cedar, all right? So I'm not sure if you guys are kind of picking up on the vibe that I'm going for here in the house. Yes, I have my two um, pumpkin-y, spicy candles from Home Goods, but right now, I've been sharing with you guys a lot of outdoorsy smells. That is me, I love being outside, and so the lavender and cedar is absolutely among one of my favorites from my stash today. This smells so good. This smells so, so freaking good. I can see this one burning in one of my guest bathrooms. I would love to walk into one of my friend's homes and this candle is burning in the bathroom. I even feel that the color of this candle looks very serene, very spa-like, absolutely very much so, <laughs> giving me bathroom or, or spa vibes amazing all right so up next is a very familiar brand from walmart and it is mainstays gosh mainstays has everything from dishes pots spoons towels rugs candles all right so this is coconut sands i want to say this is possibly the only candle that i have that isn't necessarily kind of fall related Coconut sands, I just couldn't leave it. I just could not leave this candle. <laughs> Smells amazing. Smells amazing. Do not be turned off by the fact that this isn't your typical, you know, fall, winter candle. Go ahead and get this. Go ahead and get this candle so that, you know, when spring, summer roll around, you will have it in your arsenal of candles. But I'm not going to say that I'm not going to be burning this during fall and winter. I just might, I just might, because it smells just that good. Um, this is one of those scents also that I can see burning inside guest bathroom, master bathroom. It is simply amazing. I I will say too that those of you who, who suggested Walmart, again, none of these candles are over 20 bucks, Walmart. Their candles were uh, they, their candles were great. Their candles, the scents, they were all true to scent. They were very, very strong, vibrant scents. A lot of Walmart's candles I couldn't even bring home because the scents, the fragrances were just that strong. Especially their fruity scents. I, I couldn't get any of those. They were so, so very bold. But I'm loving the coconut sands. Um, this is a very large candle for the price too. This one is also mainstays. I will say too, this is my least favorite type of jar. There's no way I would leave this out. I don't like this little cheapy flimsy lid. So this will absolutely go into the trash. Um, it's just giving me real old school vibes. I do love the color. I absolutely love this pale kind of muted gray as you can see that's what we do here in the house and oh so let's go back really quick to the mantle so my inspiration for doing the kind of grays and ivories for the fall decor is just i just took inspiration from my family room i love the fall colors the oranges and the greens but i did not want this year for my family room to look like fall threw up in here so I kept it very muted. The garland, it has little bits of orange, very, very muted orange bits in there. And I love that it has the sage green leaves. And I just didn't want the orange pumpkins this year. So loving that. So loving that this candle could absolutely sit out. I probably won't leave it out. Um, when I'm burning it, it'll obviously be out, but then it, I'll, I'll tuck it away later. But this is Fall Farmhouse. Fall Farmhouse is the scent. This is a three wick candle. And like I said, with Walmart, all of their scents were very, very strong. I want to say this particular candle was like four bucks, like $3.99. And the strength of the scents, the, the boldness of the scents that you get for the price at Walmart 
with it with all the candles that I have here today to share with you Walmart is absolutely unmatched so love that one and again that was fall farmhouse give me your opinion drop down leave a comment let me know how do you feel about the little candles that at Walmart that have that plastic lid and I guess you know they have to be careful with the cost you know for $3.99 they're not gonna give you one of these lids right here now you cannot go to Walmart and not pick up the iconic Yankee candle. I'm not sure if they are selling Yankee candles anywhere else. I just know the Walmart that I frequent several Walmarts. You know, you can't put all your eggs in one basket in terms of Walmart because you will absolutely be disappointed. So you kind of have to spread your love around. But the, the Walmarts that I run in, <laughs> they all have Yankee candles and so this is absolutely at the top I have about two or three yeah I have three favorites from this pile at the end I will share with you my top three you go ahead keep like a little notepad and see if what I'm sharing with you right now is going to match up to what I say at the end of the video in terms of my favorite but I'll go ahead and tell you sage and citrus it's up there for me. It is absolutely up there for me. Sage, you cannot have fall without sage, right? You need your sage for your stuffing. You need your sage for your dressing, however you say it. You need your sage to put on whatever bird you are going to make for the holidays. And that would include both Thanksgiving and Christmas. And then to sprinkle in the citrus, the lemony, the orangey vibes, it is a win-win. <sighs> for me it smells so clean it smells so clean I know a few videos back Eric talked about Yankee Candle for him he feels that Yankee Candle is expensive I will tell you Yankee Candle never disappoints the candles that are Yankee Candles they give what they are supposed to give they understand the assignment and they deliver every time every time it's just i think now so many of us are so used to purchasing the candles from home goods and you guys from joe malone and louis vuitton that yankee candle can some kind sometimes be looked at as being old school but this is one to pick up and absolutely put in your fall arsenal you don't think of this color or maybe even the name to be synonymous with fall because it doesn't say spice, it doesn't say cinnamon, it doesn't say apple, it doesn't say pumpkin, but trust, this is a fall candle that you absolutely have to go ahead and pick up. What for you is synonymous with fall? I think for me, it is absolutely going to be Starbucks's just variety of coffee flavors. Starbucks, I don't know when Starbucks came on the scene, but ever since they've been here, Starbucks is that one brand that tells us, especially us ladies, fall is here. When Starbucks releases that, that pumpkin spice latte, it's like we know, all right, it's fall. Starbucks says it's fall because the pumpkin spice lattes are here. So for me, that's one of the things that will absolutely signify Hey, it's fall. Even if the leaves are still green and it's 88 degrees outside, it's fall when Star when Starbucks says, come and get your, uh, your pumpkin spice lattes. Also, when I am able to go to the grocery store at 7.30, 8 o'clock in the morning, and the shoe of choice has to be, it has to be this particular shoe, no other shoe will do the almighty ugg when i can wear my uggs to the grocery store and they are warm and snugly and just the perfect shoe like i said no other shoe will do it's fall all right so my question here is for those of you who own uggs track down leave a comment let me know if you do not own a pair of uggs let me know if you just absolutely detest the sight of Uggs. All right, let me know. I just think they're perfect for fall. They are absolutely perfect for fall. Those of you who wear your little fuzzy slippers to the grocery store in the morning, yes you, I said it. After a while, you're not gonna be able to wear those shoes to the grocery store, so you might wanna pick up a pair of Uggs. This was actually my first 
pair of Uggs. If you own Uggs, let me know what color was your first color. For me, you have to get the Iconic Camel. This needs to be everyone's intro into Uggdom. All right, so the camel color. And then from there, for me, for the fall, it has to be the black pair of Uggs, all right? Gotta get the black pair. These right here are more of a velour texture. As you can see, they're coming off a really nice, smooth black here on camera. Absolutely love these, but what I love about the Uggs, and this is not an Ugg commercial, but I just want to throw this in here because I absolutely had to put these on this morning to go to the grocery store. Um, no matter what color your Uggs are, no matter how they change up the outside texture, the inside absolutely stays nice. Uh, furry and just really really nice this particular black pair here is you know your traditional height I believe that's the traditional height for the Uggs but these right here are more like an ankle length a booty Ugg if you will what I also love about the Uggs not only the different colors the different textures the different finishes if you will but the little different little accoutrement that you're able to have on your Uggs I don't wear this pair out all that often because for me they seem a little dressy dare I say Uggs are dressy because of this little detail here on the side but again I have kind of stayed with the camel and the black color so for me it's the Starbucks it's being able to wear my Uggs to the grocery store and I'm not sure if I shared this earlier but when I can pull out when I can pull out one of my little shackets, this shacket right here, this shacket right here at night when we are walking through the botanical garden seeing what new display they have and it's like 65 degrees at night and I have this on with one of my t-shirts and oh my gosh, speaking of t-shirts, speaking of being nice and cozy and snuggly and warm guys. I was gonna do this video and not tell y'all, but the store is back open. The Unfrumpy Mommy store is back open for business. If you guys had sent me one more email, saying, Tan, when is the store going to open up, girl? We need those hoodies. It's open. The store is open, and boy, do I have some nice hoodie designs, as well as t-shirts for you guys. from Target. I actually do have one candle from Target. Target wasn't giving. Target was not giving in the area of really strong scents for the candles. You guys will have to let me know if you've purchased candles from Target, how are they holding up? But just the sniff test, the initial scent sniff test. See, here's the thing. What the candle companies are going to have to realize is it has to give from first whiff. The scent has to give from first whiff. I, if I sniff the candle and it's not giving, it's not going to come home. So they're going to have to do something to make sure from the initial sniff, the initial whiff that I get what I am wanting to get from the candle. This for me was the only one that did the trick. So the brand is Chesapeake Bay. 
Chesapeake Bay Candles and another fall scent. I love it. It's cranberry, nut, muffin, all of that sounds like I just want to tip over into the kitchen or maybe drive over to Starbucks and pick this up. This absolutely sounds like something Starbucks or Panera. Panera would have this on the menu. Cranberry, nut, muffin, and that's what it's giving. All three components are in this candle. Now, this is one of those candles that I would never, ever leave out. I don't like the colors on the label. I just don't, but I love the scent. So this would absolutely be hidden away in some type of canister, but I love it. It, it smells like I'm baking in the kitchen. I want to say this is my first time actually purchasing a candle from Target. All right, it's nice. All right, and my last, Two candles are hailing from none other than World Market. Yes, World Market sells candles. They don't just sell wine, cheese, and crackers, guys. They also sell candles. And this first one right here is the smallest candle in the collection. I want to say you can get this candle, this not this candle, but you can get a, a candle this size uh, from Joe Malone for $70. I want to say this candle was $9. So you do the math. I don't know, I don't know. Hey, but I will say, you know, maybe the Joe Malone is giving a little bit more in the scent fragrance lingering area. So this is dandelion and arugula. That's nice. That's a nice combination. I would have never thought to put together dandelion, dandelion and arugula. I mentioned a few videos back that I absolutely love arugula. Arugula has that nice, strong, peppery, green, flavor and I love it. I also love that arugula lasts a lot longer than a lot of the other greens. I think I mentioned that. Um, so the arugula, the arugula is giving, but I'm not getting a whole lot of dandelion. Hence, maybe that's why this was $9 versus the $70 Joe Malone. But this would act, actually be a scent that you, if you are studying, if you are home you know maybe journaling or paying the bills this is a very light 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 scent all right very light you're not going to get a headache from you know that particular burn and then the last candle from world market i'm going to tell you this is number one this is number one so i told you guys at the end of the video i was going to give you my top three from this collection of candles that i have here this is absolutely Number one, this is eucalyptus and pine bark. I love, love, love anything eucalyptus. I love my, my favorite combinations of, or iterations of my eucalyptus candles or scents is absolutely going to be eucalyptus and mint and eucalyptus and like a tea tree. Absolutely love. But now that I have eucalyptus and pine bark, amazing. And guys, look at the lid. Look at the lid. So I love that this one just looks very, very natural. This candle was $18, 18, somewhere between 18 and 20 bucks, guys. And look at that. You get the frosted glass, not an overdone label. I don't like an overdone label, especially if I want to, you know, have my candle setting out. So I love this one. I love here on the back, there's this little saying. It says, in the trees, in the breeze, seek nature's peace and bliss. That's what I do whenever I go outside. That's what, that's what I'm doing. And so, look at the lid, guys. Just super, super gorgeous. Absolutely love it. This is a three wick candle. I just wanna fall into a vat of this wax it is just simply amazing it is a three wick candle and i know this is my first time purchasing this particular scent this particular candle it will not be the last i absolutely have to go back and you know what guys i lied all right so this candle is absolutely from world market but i think i said 18 to 20 dollars this was 14.99 says it right here on the bottom 14 $14.99. So if you have a world market and you're looking for a candle that I think is a little bit unique, a little bit off the beaten path in terms of fall candles, I would absolutely classify this as a fall candle. You guys let me know, drop down, leave a comment. Do you burn more candles in the fall or the spring and summer? I 
think I burn more candles during, during the fall and winter months than I do during the spring and summer. And I don't, I don't, I don't know why that is. Could be perhaps because I don't like the really fruity, flowery candle scents. Maybe that's why, but I'm absolutely a fan of the, the woodsy, piney, cinnamony, spicy candles. Maybe that's why. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. But before we go, I must give you my top three, top three. If you haven't put your top three down in the comments, go ahead and do it. I wanna see if you guys got it right. So pause the video right now. Go ahead and give me your top three before I tell you my top three. Or give me the top three that you thought I picked. And then you know what? Yeah, give me your top three. Maybe you already have some of these. All right, so here we go. So my top three, and I'm just gonna list them right here, right now in no particular order. The first one is from Walmart. Yes, Walmart Mainstays Coconut Sands. I'm probably gonna be burning this. I will probably be burning this this fall and winter. Facts, all right. Yankee Candle, Yankee Candle, Sage and Citrus. Yes, 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 absolutely love it. It had to be in the top three. And then finally, I just share it with you from World Market, Eucalyptus and Pine Bark. All right, do drop down guys, leave a comment. Let me know if those are the choices you kind of assumed I would pick, all right? If you have any of these, let me know your top three. But that is absolutely going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you guys stopping in. This video will probably go live Saturday, Sunday, somewhere in around that neighborhood. But as I'm filming, today's Thursday. So almost Friday, a very, very gorgeous fall day here in Atlanta. Let me know what the weather is like in your neck of the woods. Again, the store is open. Cannot wait to see you guys over in the store. And with that, thanks so much for stopping in, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>